Maybe it's time to pack up this gypsy wagon and move on. Really? Where to? AC? How do we get played like that? I just had inside help. Yeah, Eddie. You know, you take a beating for your pals and you're down to feel medical. You think maybe they'd come when you call. I thought you switched sides. After Seymour? After... Come on, can you really blame us? After how that game went down, man? All right. You know, I got about 10 grand stashed. 9,800, actually. We'll just whack it up three ways, and then we can all make our own decisions about the future, because obviously, we are no longer a team. That's not really the kind of bracelet we were hoping for. I learned how to shoot craps from a guy who had been a medic in Vietnam. He used to say that his time in the country convinced him of only one truth in life. When guys got busted up over there, it didn't matter whether they were white or black, fat or skinny, rich or poor, a fresh recruit or a hardened non-com. They all each and every one of them, when they were shot to hell or just seen enough of it, cried out for their mothers. What's got you up at such an hour? I'm still up. You're gonna get sick. Mom. Coffee? Bobbing when I should have been weaving. I'm okay. What are you into? Black. I'll take my coffee. Black. It's gone. Mm. Hey, how'd it go? I was on fire tonight. Mm hmm. More agenda. 9,800. Hmm. saying it's justifiable. They're talking about a medal. It still is weird, huh? 30 years, I, I never pulled the trigger. I did what was necessary. We stick together and just go forward from here.
killing can have an effect on a man. Guilt is a corrosive agent. I think we can trust him. Why is that? Because now he has just as much to lose as we do. Miami? Heard you had a little problem at the Colorado. Can you help me find an easy game? No way. Phil. Oh, look, just because you're on Don Everest's bad side doesn't mean I have to join you. Funny, you didn't strike me as the type of scared easy, Phil. Oh, scared is not about fear. It's about cash. Everest puts the mark on you, word gets out. Come on, the whole town knows he's not Mr. Clean. The town don't count. What counts is me making money. Huh, Mira thought we were friends. Please. You're a good-looking broad who kept idiotic losers at my tables while they thought they had a chance of banging you at the end of the night. But friends, I don't think so. Hey, hey. Uh, look, you're finished. All right, don't ever come around here. Hey, that's a nice watch, pal. Right. <sighs> Manners, huh? Where have they gone? Yeah. Randy Chaffee. Miami. I could have handled that. I believe it. Still, I was uh, raised the right way. You don't remember me, do you? Oh, I know who you are. Everybody knows the Chaffee brothers. You own half the strip. <laughs> Not half. 18%. But you know, maybe some. <laughs> so you know who I am, but you don't remember me. Hmm. You cleaned me out. Two years ago. No limit of commerce. There you go. But you still came to my rescue. Well, I'm a good loser. And you won with a lot of style. I'm bored. You hungry? No. Not tonight. Maybe tomorrow night. I don't think I'm going to be around that long. Hmm. Just in case. Living the high life? Why should I trust you? Hey, does this look like county lockup? Looks like a setup. Yeah, all right, fair enough. I think I might see it that way from where you're sitting. Okay, let me lay it out for you. I worked with Don Everest for a long time, and I always knew eventually he'd screw me over. So that day is here. The problem for him is I'm not the guy to just let him crap all over me and just move on. Running out of options, he owns the cops. Yeah, he does. And he's tough, and he's shrewd, but he's not invincible. And he can only fight so many battles at the same time. Is that your plan? I'm always gonna put him up as my replacement. That's one opening for us, because the truth is, Everest has always had a piece of the hotel off the books. We get the IRS to look into that. Okay, Elliot Ness, so you just ring him up and say we got you a new Al Capone? No, it's not that simple. We get some press in Rattler's cage. You get some ink on it, you get the right sort of people looking into it. I want him for killing my brother, not playing with money. All right, next front. I've tried to keep as good a list as I could of all the horses he's used to set up games. You work those guys. You only need a handful to sing the same song. At least I won't be fighting by myself anymore. No, you won't. That will make allies. And it will smack the crap out of Mr. Everest from all sides. Look at 
you, man. Raging Bull, huh? <laughs> you ain't even pretty no more. Yeah, I heard they gorge your ass out pretty good, man. But you know what? If you're gonna get your clock cleaned, it might as yeah, well. Yeah, no, it might as well be by the best. You know, I find real solace in that. Thanks. <laughs> you got? Yeah, I got. Right. Yeah. But look here. You know that uh that blonde thing you run with? She calls herself Miami. <laughs> yeah. I was thinking maybe I'd get a little introduction. You know. I mean you and her are just business, right? I don't know what's going on with Miami. Except you couldn't handle it. <laughs> yeah. What the hell are you so spooked about? I just thought I saw somebody I knew, that's all. All right. Now, I know you've been down this road before, but you know, I gotta say it. It's like a professional disclaimer, right? But you know what these cats, patience is never a virtue. I know the drill. All right, all right, I'm just saying. Cause uh, there's been a whiff of, uh, I don't know, man, like desperation around you lately. You getting that? The juice on this one is three points, not two. out of style. They do say that style can be something to hide behind. That's so. Yeah, people lacking substance, they get all slicked up to distract us from what's missing. I'll raise 500. Good call. You know, like, common decency? The trouble these days is people dress like mutts. Somehow they think it doesn't reflect badly on them. Like loyalty. Take time to dress nice, show you respect yourself. Like a soul, I raise 500. to raise you here. You might want to take another look at those cards. Oh, you're going to raise me? A little late for that. Day late, dollar short. Maybe that's my motto. Takes two to tango. Do you ever have an original thought? Call. All in. Yeah, let's do it. Chop. See that? We get to share. You must be Eddie. Dad, what the hell are you doing back in town? Besides, you're on the hook if we say you're on the hook. And this is we as in who? Listen, I don't Look, we gotta deal with this another time. We're friggin' better. It's pretty damn impressive, Clark. Looks like you're a hell of a numbers man. I'm just curious, these last two years, there's uh, nothing here. I was traveling. 
traveling? Yes, um, through Africa. Oh, I see. Kind of a uh, get back to the roots type trip, huh? Not really. You know, I always wanted to go over there. Hey, did you get to check out any of them safaris? I grew up in Jersey. We had that uh, jungle habitat. No, no, I was volunteering. Right. Well, that's a poor, I guess, huh? So what brings you back home? Well, you ever get to the point where you know that it's time for a change? Yeah, sure. What I want right now is to be the top broker at Mullen Securities, and I think that you need me just as much as I need you. And you see, now that is the attitude I love. But Clark, just so you know, everyone here starts the same. That means cold calls till your lips turn blue. It's churn them and burn them, baby. And we don't work on a fee basis. It's all commission, all the time. Well, my mother always told me I could sell milk to a cow. <laughs> all right, then. Welcome aboard. Thank you. <laughs> I used to be this old Vegas family owned the Colorado. A little bit before your time. Yeah. Spawn of which was a fellow named Billy Landry. Always heard he was a good man, Billy Landry. Anyway, Malloy buys the place, right? Now Everest, he's out here and plugged in so Malloy figures he needs him. Gives him a piece of the action, off the books, of course. I don't know, people said 12%, but my best sources said seven, seven and a half tops. Anyway, now they gotta worry about keeping the commission at bay, right? So Malloy's no fool. He sticks Landry in his president, and bingo, everything is peachy. Short story long, Landry decides he doesn't like the way they operate. Starts mouthing off, making all kinds of noises. He's gonna exercise a buyback clause or something. I don't know, even called me two or three times, trying to get a story rolling. All I know is, last time I see the man, he told me he was gonna meet Seymour Anisman. Then? Then? Landry's the new Jimmy Hoffa. No. I'm sorry, fellas. No deal. You saying you're still not gonna write this up? About Everest? Yeah. Nah, I don't think so. Ernie, thanks. Thank you. See, I got this bad habit. It's called breathing. I kinda got used to it, and I'd like to keep it up. Gentlemen. I can't believe this is all about Wayne Lee. Come on, honey. The brother you'd go six, eight months at a time without talking to? How often you talk to your sister up north? My sister up north, whose name is Sarah, by the way, never faked her own wedding to drum up cash and gifts to blow gambling. He was sick, but he was getting better. You wanted money? I sold the Winchester and the log splitter. And I put your fly rod on eBay. Angela, not my T3. Lee, you need to hurry the hell up and come home. I'm running out of lies to tell the kids. It's just that this place is kind of giving me the creeps. Well, you know we got uh, security cameras all over the joint. It's good. It's good. Feel better already. You had a good first day? 
Uh, yeah, yeah, everything was great. Look, um, I gotta run. All right. See you later. Seymour's friend. Give me a minute. When I called to check in, Seymour told me about you and your brother. He said you were like a bad tooth in his mouth. I mean, it wasn't your fault though, but you kept getting in his way every time he tried to eat. He also said that you are a good man. He told you all that? Seymour treated me good. Just like I was regular. So you came back to do the right thing? That's right. You know you're not the only one who has issues with the Matador? Yeah? Mm-hmm. We were working with some others. Um, a player named Miami. Here you go. Anything else? Miami. Clark Marcelin. Eddie Town. I know Tom. He's one of Matador's boys. Not really. I'm listening. The main event is coming. It's time to fill up the stables. I need 30 fresh horses. Guys who like their buy-ins pay for them, can handle themselves at the table and take out some tough players. They drop their stacks to me along the way for a cut. 30 new guys. And that's impossible. Why can't we just use the regulars? We need new faces. Guys that have no connections to us whatsoever. We'll find them. Just be honest with me. Aren't I always? You gave Dad my ten grand. Your grandmother called. Your cousin Arlene got herself into USC. What, a suit, a smile? That all it took? You don't know him the way I do. No kidding, he left when I was seven. He's not a bad man, Eddie. Sure he isn't. Good guys, they ditch their wife and kid all the time. I mean, what makes him so great? He didn't pull Scott Peterson? The way he used to walk into a room, Every head would turn. Didn't I ever tell you about the time that he took me to the plaza for my birthday? Real class. You skipped that one. You know, you did tell me about the time he took you to Atlantic City for St. Patty's Day. You remember that? Remember how you flew down in that helicopter? And by the time you had changed to go out, you know, you freshened up. He had busted on the crap table and you were on a bus back home. He has a good heart, Eddie. How many times he hawked your engagement ring? <laughs> He won it back, every time. Well, he shacked up at the Western with some bimbo. She's tall, blonde, about my age. Holy crap, Mom. You still love him. God, he suckered you out of my money. Oh, no, don't. Don't tell me you slept with him. Some guys just aren't cut out for the settled life. Most guys just live up to their responsibilities. Is that right, Edward? Well, that's funny, because I don't see you heading down that road anytime soon. I'm scared, man. Hey, I understand. But what are you going to do when the feds get involved and start building a RICO case? What, they can get me for racing a tape? 
That's a crime? Obstructing an investigation into multiple homicides. They cast a big net with a RICO case. Catches all size fish. Big, small, whale, or minnow. You get charged the same case, you do the same time. Multiple? Ah, oh, come on, you're a young man. 60, 70 years with modern medicine, you may even live to get out. What do I have to do? You still have your Colorado passkey. Table is ready, Mr. Chow. Where is everybody? I promised you a nice, quiet meal. Oh, okay, Mr. Big Shot. Oh, no, it's not like that. It's like my privacy. Should we look at a menu? Oh, uh, Peter, the, the chef is a friend of mine. He always does something special for him. Okay, how many times a week do you do this? <laughs> is this your big move? I meant when I come to eat here regularly. Uh -huh. Thank you. Oh, do you, um, do you have any objections to an 87 Bordeaux? As long as it's wet. I'm glad you called me. I'm late. Sorry, Daddy. Sit down. I said... You just had to go sleep with him, didn't you? Had to get involved. You didn't seem to have a problem with it before. Well, I did. Maybe I just didn't show it. I'm not mommy. You can't run my life. That may be so. But as long as you're here in this town, you're gonna do exactly what I tell you. You liked that I was close to Eddie. You pushed us together, and it helped you. I didn't tell you to sleep with him. Hazard of the job. Come here. Listen, you keep an eye on that punk. Keep him in line, and that's it. Nothing more. You follow? Eddie doesn't dance for anybody. He did plenty of dancing for me. You took his money, and you beat him down, and now you want me to feast on his bones? What kind of a threat is he to you? Why can't you just leave him be? Come here. Listen. Only a fool underestimates a wounded animal. Here it is. The one I've ever taken down a black dude and a blonde chick. Good. Is it the only copy? Yeah, we don't make copies as a rule. That's my special job. Probably be good if you just don't show up to work anymore. Wait a second. You said if I helped you out, I'd be in the clear. In the clear with me? But as far as Everest goes, it'd be best if you just vanish into the desert. This has been fun. I needed a distraction. Oh, is that all I am? It's all I can handle right now. Boyfriend, don't say husband. Nope, I'm a moving target. Well, I am one hell of a shot. I'll tell you what, why don't I keep moving and you work on your aim? Do you have a favorite ball player, man? I got one for every sport. We having a conversation or are we playing cards? Is it gonna hurt you to give me an answer? Can't you just give me an answer? Fine. I like Kevin Mawai. Works hard, sacrifices his body, plays hurt. You gonna call or what? Nah. But I'm gonna raise. Ten dollars. Mine's Killebrew, by the way. Harmon Killebrew. Okay, I re-raise. Call that. You know why I like Carmen so much? Because he was fatter than crap. 
He could get his bat around quicker than a cheetah could chase breakfast. I bet. Call. Check. Bet. I'm in. Fine. Your lame-ass set of threes is good. Always play three. Harmon used to wear number three, you know. <laughs> Deja vu all over again. But you're supposed to be... Wyoming. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know? Yeah, I heard. That's why I'm back. You know he didn't jump, right? He would never do that. We all know that. And what do you used to say? He wanted to live long enough to see his enemies in the ground. Yeah, he called the obituaries the sports page. I got a guy who can help us. Yeah? Yeah. I think so. Look, I'm having a really good night. Kind of night I need to be having right about now. Please, just hear him out. Come on, just hear him out. Him? I made him promise not to tell. I knew you wouldn't come. Come on, Eddie, you're here. Let me break it down for you. Everest is a cautious man. He's a careful man. He has a permanent home field advantage. And he's beyond my reach. I can't even walk into his casino. What's keeping you out? Something tells me you know exactly what's keeping me out. <laughs> So you cheated a cheater. Where's the proof? Video. That's all of it. No copies. I'm only gonna ask one thing in return. Help me break him. I feel lucky just to be alive right now. Tell you what. I'll think about it. You give me the answer I want, the tape's yours. told you that I want out. Got a guy about to buy big on Voltronics. Call him back. Okay. All right, sir. I'll call you back. Okay. Want to know what I have here? This company we use for background checks. A bunch of ex-feds. Very thorough. You can't think that you need a degree to do this job. What, do I? Hell no. The problem is that's very much beside the point. And the point is, Clark, that I don't make the rules, and there are rules. But what burns me is that you flat out lied. Look, I do have my Series 7. I don't even want to know how you managed to get that without a degree. Look, you can let me go because I was too bored to finish college and replace me with some smart ass with the paper who couldn't convince a burning man to jump into a lake, but you see the numbers that I put up. I've run this office for nine years. I've never seen anyone come out of the gate like you. Look, if I was straight up with you, you would have never hired me. Those two missing years on your resume. Yeah. Please tell me they were not spent locked up somewhere. No. I was playing cards. You make a living at it? Most of the time. Any other surprises? You're the one that has a thorough background, people. Yeah. We keep this between us. But anything else and you're gone. And we'll make us some more money.
Where's that 10 grand that we're cutting up? It's gone. It's just, just gone? Yeah, it's just gone. What, gone like, like, like our shot at the Matador gone? Gone like every damn penny I have to my name? I saw us coming. Okay, what next? We cannot just walk away from this. I haven't slept the night through since this whole thing's happened. Yo, well, I can't get a decent game, so. You're done following your lead. Fine. Go ahead, make your own decision. But if I walk away from this, I spend my whole life living it down. I question every other thing I do. And by the way, my friends, so do both of you. Well, Everest got the game wired. He got the place wide. He got the whole damn city of Vegas wide, man. Sometimes you just, you, you take a beating and you walk on. It's called life. You know, this isn't just about cards. It's bigger than that. Maybe that's it then. What is? If we can't beat him at this game, let's change the game. Right, right. We challenge him to Parcheesi. Lure him into a high stakes bingo parlor or something. I think I can get us back into the Colorado. What? And we step foot into Colorado, they will wrap our asses in a pretty little bow. And that's the best case scenario. Not without the videotape of us working together, they can't. You've got that look on your face. You know that I got lousy news for Don, look. The footage of you and those three kids is gone. Well, how the heck did that happen? I don't know. You know, Luke is Lowball's boy. Maybe he had a pang of conscience. Probably no point in looking for him, right? No, probably not, but maybe I will anyway. Eddie, um, he uh, isn't here. Do you want to wait? All right. Do you want a drink? Um, no, thanks. You know, I feel like I spent half my life waiting for him. Only half. <clears throat> You are just one big old nut, huh? He doesn't have that effect on you? No. Your father tends to lose focus when he gets around a casino. Ignores you, huh? Maybe it's an age thing. I don't know. I never dated a guy who... You know. Old enough to be your father. Hey, he treats you like dirt. So, why don't we be bad little kids and have some fun? And it'd feel really good. Man, you two must be perfect together. Prodigal son. Son? Maybe it's time we try to relate as adults. It's never your fault, is it? Sometimes it is. A man enough to admit it. Really? Well, you hit mom up for 10 grand, which would be her problem, except that 10 grand was mine. You're 10 grand. What a sport. She owed that money to me. Where she got it was none of my business. Owed it to you. That's right. I have very little time for this. Here's what we'll do. We'll split the country in half, all right? You take everything east of the Mississippi. How's that sound? Ever tell you about your grandfather? So what? He left you, you left me. Is that it? History repeats itself? I remember sitting on the floor in the dark one winter. We'd repossess the furniture, shut off the lights. The eviction notices were piling up. Your grandmother sat there on the floor just staring at the wall. At this point, she's way past tears. The old man walks in. He takes in the scene. He was half of the bag. You know what he said to us? 
He said, don't worry, I will never leave you. I will never leave you, like he's doing us a favor. My mother never wailed so loud. Now you're about to make me cry. See, that was a problem, Eddie. He stayed. And there wasn't a day that went by that I didn't pray this guy would disappear. What is this? The facts of life speech I missed out on? When you were too busy being a chicken shit? Can't escape your blood, kid. Hey, what the hell's that supposed to mean? Like I said, you're young yet. But you know, I look at you and you know what I see? I see me. I see me in a quarter century old snapshot. <laughs> Except I wore better clothes. What's the line from that movie? It's in the jeans, Charlie. The horse got absolutely nothing to do with it. You'll learn the hard way. We all learn the hard way. What's he gonna learn from you, Jimmy? You stay the hell away from Mom! laid out those ground rules. No threesomes except on your birthday. <laughs> well, happy birthday. <laughs> it's not my birthday. Well, tonight it is. <laughs> On the next tilt. Hello, everybody.